was it's Raptor Jesus, and I wanted to talk about uh, the mystic arts in RPGs, and specifically old school d and I've never really liked how slots work, though I do understand it. It's just, uh, I've read a lot of uh, real-world occult uh, books when I was growing up, so I was really interested in all of that kind of stuff. Uh, and, and things on aliens and magic, and I just wanted to use logic and reasoning to find the truth of it all, rather than like buying into all the various like crackpot theories, because, oh, let me tell you, fellas, there's a bunch of them. But I always liked the idea that magic has a cost, uh, not to you physically, but to the balance of the universe itself. And drawing too much of that energy will make things go uh, awry and, and out of balance. So yeah, I think this energy should be uh, kind of like you're filling a cup, a mug, if you will. Uh, and you can fill like so much of it and you're fine but there's a point where the the energy becomes too much and it starts to bubble and churn forward the universe itself becomes out of balance and this isn't like the universe as a whole it's spe tied specifically to the particular region uh, like ley lines essentially and when you draw too much energy you're putting too much power into your magic and it starts to overflow and that's when things get really bad so generally my idea is that so much power causes essentially like almost like mutations on the caster and it's not the the caster that has cast the most spells, it's actually the caster that overflows the cup. And I'm going to use this in a literal sense. Is I have a, a really cool skull cup. Uh, I have no idea where it is or I'd throw a picture up for you guys. And essentially I'm going to put like D10s in this. Because I got a lot of D10s, fellas. And as the D10s fill up this cup, eventually it'll get to a point where... A D10 or, or more is gonna fall out of that cup and that's essentially what I'll be using for uh, your mutations because I have a this really handy uh, D1000 table of various mutations and they're not so much debilitating and so much beneficial they just kind of are because I don't want to really penalize and scare people away from using magic in my system but I do want there to be like a cost you're weighing. Do you want to use this spell to overflow the cup? And it's also very interesting because this will affect your bad guys that are using special powers and abilities too. Anything that you would consider that alters the reality of your universe. Which, let me be honest fellas, there's a lot of stuff that monsters pull that are pretty reality altering if you ask me. So with this idea in mind, uh, nothing really changes with the base D&D system. See, the spell level is what I'll be using to determine how many D10s to put in the cup as spells are being cast. And there will also be like a, an essentially an essential energy, like a minimum energy level that each region has. Like in... This should be higher when you're dealing with more cursed and dark regions because there's a lot of bad stuff going on. Bad juju in that area, you know what I mean, fellas? So this is becomes very important, uh, I think, and it might actually have a drastic effect on the game when you're dealing with uh, dungeons that are just so evil they're like these underworld places that are linked to the nefarious infernal realms of your your cosmology so the more like evil places the more unbalanced that particular like uh, the thinner the veil between realities is in that region because you know magic is drawing from all the various dimensions and 
and uh, what later in later editions of D&D became the clan's reality. But you know, your your fire, your air, your water, your magma, your shadow, and all the various uh, nice mixtures in between. All right, I guess that's the rest of the video, fellas. If you have any questions, please comment down below. I hope you like my video. If you want to see more of this stuff, please uh, subscribe. I hope you guys uh, have a good game next time you play, and keep your shield arm strong, alright?